The great Stephen Hawking is more and more confident that there is alien life, that other planets, other galaxies likely have strange and different beings, life forms that our world has not even dreamed of. Well, after Monday night's episode of Star Trek The Next Degeneration, I think he's onto something. Trump is not Mr. Spock. Spock worships logic. Donald is allergic to it. Nor, for that matter, is Hillary Mr. Data. Data can't lose anything. He is a non-wipeable server. Nonetheless, what people have kindly called, but with considerable disrespect to the term, a debate between these two, offered the first firm building block for a theory of extraterrestrial interference in human affairs. The strangeness and weird novelty of this election distracts from its consequences. There is a ferocity in the battle going on down south that should be more alarming than entertaining. After the amusement or wonder of the campaign, one of these two will be president. But it is a just question, considering the state of American politics and its wild turn into outlandish spectacle, whether the morning after the election, at least half of America will be willing or able to accept the verdict of the other half, whichever wins. It is a very dangerous moment to be so intensely divided. The divisive energies of America that have made the Trump moment possible are deep and they will abide. Outsiders look at a race between a reality television exhibitionist and a deeply flawed, untrustworthy career insider and weep. If Trump were running against almost any other Democrat, he'd be a sideshow. And if Hillary Clinton were not wearing scars she has largely inflicted on herself, she'd be flying to victory. Now consider the state of America today. Race relations, the most sensitive nerve point of U.S. democracy, are as hot and tense now as at any time since the 60s. Factionalism and identity politics carve up the nation's loyalties. Unemployment and the persisting effects of the 2008 crash have stripped the hopes of millions. The world is a cauldron, Syria a field of blood, Europe after Brexit, terrorism a fact of life, and the menacing tyrants of the world, Mr. Putin, Kim Jong-un, and the Ayatollahs of Iran operating with minimal restraint. It is a moment calling for a touch of Lincoln or Roosevelt or Reagan or even JFK. Well, scour the transcripts or watch the video of Monday night's seance of unreason and presumption and see if one is to be found. This is a campaign without uplift, without inspiration or trust or any sense of real mission. It is small. Vote for Hillary out of dread of Trump, Trump out of distrust of Clinton. The consequences? This will likely be an election that doesn't resolve the tensions and fears of Americans, but calls wind to the flames. For The National, I'm Rex 